My son, Junior, stand up. Uh, yeah. He does all our social media, so all the stuff you've been seeing, that, that's him. A hundred mil, I need it. The glory, I need it. I took L's, but walked around like I was undefeated. I, like I saw no results, I still woke up and chased them. They told me to find myself, instead I want to find a way. No seconds. Everybody got on jury. Even the baby got a little something. We ready now. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Good old, good old. Okay, we're gonna go through the traffic first. Is your lunch ready? Do you have to show up? Let's take a picture. Let's take a picture. Sam. You tell us what we're doing today. All right, we are at a speaking appearance. The book, Elevate and Dominate, 21 Ways to Win on and off the field is out today. Go buy it right now. I don't know what you're waiting on. We're here in Anaheim speaking, hopping on a flight right after that, going to New York, and then we got a full book tour ahead of us. We're in New York tomorrow. We got an appearance at Bookends in New Jersey tomorrow night evening, which I believe is already sold out. Um, Thursday, doing a bunch of press, shows, podcasts. Friday morning, New York, head to Atlanta. Then we're at Barnes & Noble in Atlanta. Buy your tickets now. After that, we're heading to Dallas. Good man's got some downtime Saturday morning. Fishing! <laughs> then we're at the Doc Bookshop in Dallas, Fort Worth, Saturday night. It's then heading Fort back Worth, to- I thought it was Fort Worth. I didn't think it was Dallas. Fort Worth, isn't it Dallas Fort Worth? No, it's Fort Worth. No, it's two different places. But don't you call it Dallas Fort Worth? No, you just call it Fort Worth. Because the airport is called Dallas. No, that's when you fly in. <coughs> the appearance is in Fort Worth or is in Dallas. Which one is it? Fort Worth. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Fort Worth. Get, get a shot of Sam Pants. Shout out to Cherry. These are some nice quality pants. Uh, yeah, and then we head back to Boulder. Boulder on Sunday, first day of spring practice on Monday, and then Monday night. You're doing the uh, moderated Q&A version of the book tour on campus. We gotta promote that. We gotta promote that to make sure the students come we out. We got a camera right here. You're right, I'm just saying, how do we promote that? How, what I reached where? out to Steve. Where is it? Mackey Auditorium. Mackey Auditorium, it's free? No, you gotta buy tickets. What is it? How much it costs? We need to know, I can't promote nothing if I don't have the understandables. You gotta, you gotta go to the link in the bio. Yeah. Well, the podcast with Ed Milet came out today too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my left. Yeah, it's good. That was really good. It was really good. 
episode of a podcast. You might want to check this out. $60 for general admission. For a student? For everyone. You know what? 60 That's a lot. Tickets include a signed book and photo. Oh, so you're getting a book? Yeah. Oh. You get a signed book. You got to say that. You got to lead off with that. So when you come, you get a signed book and photo for $60 or whatever. So it should be worth it. It'll be worth it. I'll make sure it's worth Uncle it for Neely you. and Professor Rick Stevens are moderating the conversation. Yeah. Okay, Neely. <laughs> yeah. I have Uncle Darius in there, but he's going through a little something right now. Yeah. Darius going through Oh, man. Darius is a good man. I'm just trying to figure out at what point of the tour that Sam is going to get on my nerves. What, I what, mean, what are you saying? The over or under Tuesday, Wednesday? I, I've accepted. The day is Tuesday. Just say Wednesday, Thursday. Which one? But, uh, it could be any day. I know, but the, the Honestly, under tonight is Yeah, tonight. That's what I was about to say tonight. Let me give you the whole breakdown on how I know this is going to roll out. We're going to have a great event here. We're going to head to the airport. We're going to land in New York around 1240. In the morning, one o'clock, and then from then on, I'm just instantly on the nerves. From the moment we step foot in New York to the next morning, waking up, going to Kelly Clarkson, it's gonna be. Uh, I didn't know where I'm at, but hey, New York Times bestseller list. It's gonna happen. Amen. Mm-hmm. I believe it. Yep. 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 So that's a lot of luggage, which I hate packing. More so, I hate unpacking. Do you I hate packing or unpacking? Which one? I hate packing. And that's a lot of packing. It's like two outfits, suit, another outfit. And you know, I'm a coach, man. I'm so used to wearing sweatsuits every day and, and see you gear that I hate packing with a passion. I wish I could go to some of these speaking engagements just in a sweatsuit. I really do. I really do. And just some see you gear and just sit up there and just bring it. Good. Honestly, I think that's what kind of what some people want to see too. Yeah. Okay, so the next one in uh, uh, Colorado, I'm going in a sweatsuit. You? Yeah. What about son? Give me some nice sweatpants. We got a like a TV screen and hung it up, and we just had this calendar on it, just 24/7. True. And this breaks everything out, so you know. You just need it on that big thing by the door. You know that. Your, your little wall that you never there to write on, you need it on that thing. I mean, you, can't re- you can't read those handwriting? But that'd be good. It's too small. You can't really. This breaks down everything. You can see. What's what? He smiles Who's like who? that. That means he's in charge. He did it. So I'm so proud. That's why he's trying to sell it to you. Like, proud. Hey, man, this breaks down everything. But he has it in line. You know, usually you read a day like that. Mm. Now, his days are going like that. What do you mean? You read a day horizontally? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Right? Yeah. I have that. Days of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All your Friday, stuff goes Saturday. down. That's not right. It's not the same way. What kind of calendars are you looking at? The one that you gave me, they were the same little regular script. For the book tour? Yeah. Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing. Look, I'll tell you when you're right, and when you're right, you're right. But you're wrong. I'm right, I'm right. And when I'm wrong, I could have been right. So I'm still right because I could have been wrong. How can you put one day horizontally like that? That's one day right there. You, you, got, saying, you got too much stuff going say, on. You see what I'm saying, though, right? You got too uh, much somewhat, stuff going somewhat. on. Okay, what I'm saying, but they understand what I'm saying. <laughs> because the, the When day, you read a book, okay, oh, the when next, you read a book, you read the page down, right? You don't go straight down. No, you go across. <laughs> You go across. That was a good one. You just killed yourself. Yeah, but if you, you go across, open book, would you go across the whole time? You, do, you go across, then you go down. You want that? I flip it horizontally if you want, Coach. I'll no, I'm just telling you. That's just odd. I've never seen that like that. That's your, that's your thing. Thank you. Thanks. Cuffs, too. Double cuffed. Mm. Fold it once, fold it twice. Mm. I've never. When they start making a double bottom shirts. <laughs> They're back in, man. Yeah, Flair. Flair's at the bottom. This is just my undershirt. It's too hot. You got it on hell. No, Bucky got it on hell. No, I just had to turn it off because it was. You're coming up when you take it. Yeah, it was. You get your butt warm. Oh my god. You turn it off hell, please. 
It was a little bit ridiculous. It was freezing. That plane coming from Maxwell's, did you have to turn the heat up? No. I was, I was dying in the back for so long. <laughs> <laughs> I waited for him to fall asleep. Lucky. Lucky. I was trying to, I was trying to, it wasn't last week, it was a couple weeks before we was on the plane. And I had to go pee on the plane, right? And you know, nice plane, the the bathroom is in the back. So I go, lift the seat up, you know, you're in the back. And then, you know, the, the ceiling is right there. So you can't just get like that to try to pee, right? Because you're going to miss. So you're just trying to figure out how in the world you're going to pee. <laughs> and then you bend it down. <laughs> I got a crib in my neck. <laughs> my neck hurt so bad. <laughs> I just turn around and just sit down and pee like, whoa. <laughs> I, feel, I felt so disrespectful to myself. <laughs> but I got a crab in my neck. It's just, man, I was screaming in there laughing. <laughs> the best part was is you came out dying laughing telling me that. But the whole time you were in there, I just kept hearing commotion. I was like, what the hell is going on in there? Oh, where's Coach Brown doing? Oh, God, oh, man. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir, for ordering this amazing food. Well, I made it, too. Put those the others. He will. Thank okay. you very much. Let's just leave it. Do you want to change it? 1313. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Enjoy the great rest of your day. Thank you, Mr. Beal. Eat my oatmeal right now. Eat my oatmeal. That's a good man right there. Great, man. Dang. Who is that? Joel Osteen or Arthur Fonzarelli? With the hair, Joe Osteen. I think Osteen. Hey, Fonzie. Come on, Fonzie. Hi, guys. All right. All right. You have it? Oh, never been out in this yeah. area. Okay, right so this is the original. Okay. OG. This is the, this is the OG. He walked, walked on these uh, grounds here. Who was the ride right you were saying you wanted to go on, Coach? Slap Samurai. <laughs> Look at that, right? The Slap Samurai. That's the Slap Samurai, right? He just sit up there <laughs> so with, shut his, down. with his arms strapped behind his back. <laughs> I was like, is that my child? And the reason we've never been on this side of the country is because we're from Florida. What are you talking about? No, we're from Florida, so we have all the amusement parks. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. That's why. Okay. I grew up on... Disney there, Bush Gardens. Okay. Well, and I grew up in Denver. Okay. Yeah. Sam took off his shirt and like it's a whole new outfit. He <laughs> got Globe in the back of his song. <laughs> Who is Globe? Let me know. You ready? Yep. Lights on. Lights on. Okay. What's up, Contract Connect? I'm here live in Anaheim, California for Epic 2024, and I'm here with Coach Pride, Deion Sanders. Deion, how you doing, man? Pleasure. Pleasure to be here. Pleasure to meet you. So I'm going to ask you a couple questions. I just want to get your insights on a few things business related. All right. So the ability to innovate and inspire the team, you know, both vital and sports and business, right? So can you tell me how you motivate your players to achieve key performance? Well, that question is so broad. Let's just start by saying, uh, you got to love what you do and do what you love. If you're not in passionate, deep love in what you do, it, it will have no effect. So, and I'm always in the moment. I'm not thinking about yesterday or, or, or crippled about what the expectations are tomorrow is. I'm in the now, and I love to dominate my now. Thanks for coming. Enjoy a great free. You're welcome. Hey, let's go. First day it's out. Oh my gosh, Barnes and Noble had such the fun. Oh yeah. But I appreciate that. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, 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 o
What piece of advice would you give an 11 year old kid who wants to be a Um, shoot. There's going to be a lot of sacrifices that you're going to have to make. You're going to have to cut a lot of people off that you might not want to cut off because they're not going to be headed in the same direction. A couple more years. Young kids and your family and your friends are going to start choosing their lifestyles. Do you want to change your lifestyles? You're going to have to put your foot down and stand over the principles that your family has taught you to. And it's hard to cut the folks off and get rid of folks. But you want to do it if you want to advance to the next level. Thank you. Thank you. Ready? One, two, and three. This is cushioning. Oh, she wanted to know did I want to take my kids, Bucky, to you guys to Disney. I told her you guys are too old now. Are we you too old for Disneyland? I don't think I am. Okay, thank you. I like him. Yeah, okay, well, well you come on in. Yeah. There you go. You want to live up to it. Uh, over here? Nope. Up at Universal. Oh, that's that's Universal. Universal. Okay, so oh, it's just like actually yes. somebody pepsi for Coke. That's, that's what that's what you do now. Everybody's trying to get to know each other. So, you know, the people that are showing us around, they're wonderful women. And she said, well, you guys need to come out here. And I said, to Disney, to, to, to these wonderful grounds. I said, well, when you're from Florida, you kind of stay on that side because we have Disney, you have Bush Gardens, you have Circus World, Sea World, or whatever it is, all that kind of stuff. That's unbelievable. So Bucky's like, no, no, I would love to come. <laughs> I would love to come out here. Con contradicting everything I just told later. So <laughs> then the lady said, she said, well, you got to come on. And he's smiling. Do you, do you guys have Harry Potter here? See, what he just did was equivalent to asking somebody at Pepsi, do they have Coke on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> he, that, that's what he just did. He didn't even know it. I tried, yeah, to, lead him, I tried to lead him right, but he, he, yeah. you know, he flipped on me. No, you're right. He flipped on me. You're right. He flipped on me, son. No, I thought there was. I thought they had Harry Potter. No. That's universal. But right? no, we we when you're from Florida, Florida. First of all, you go to the places that you can afford to go to, which was minimal, and you we went to things that were a drive away. So we went to places like, you know, Disney as well as uh, Bush Gardens. That that was the thing in Florida that we went to, and we we absolutely loved them. I can remember my stepfather. I think I had to be six or seven, or maybe eight, something like that. But we went to one of the amusement parks. And on the way back, we was going down one of the back roads and they saw a turtle crossing the road. And I'm in the back seat, you know, just my mom and stepdad and me in the back seat. And they slowed down and stopped the car. I, and I was just sitting up there saying to myself, I know it ain't about to go down what I think is about to go down. And it went down. He got out, grabbed that turtle, put that turtle in the trunk. And they had turtle soup. I'm like, dog, come on, man. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, sincere. I can't, I can't eat nothing that I've seen. That's why I'm scarred for certain things like turtle, turtle, as well as uh, possums, coons, like coon raccoons. Like I used to see a whole skint raccoon in the sink. Do you understand what that would do to a kid seeing a, 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 a raccoon that was skint? I don't, I don't even understand. See, Sam, you don't have to live those type of lives. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Sam was like down your bone. You were shooting stuff though. You were shooting deer. Yeah, stuff, right? I lived in the woods. Yeah. And we did. But on the way back, they would grab stuff every now. I don't know where he used to get a, a coon from. I saw a possum like, this morning. You think I'm going to eat a raccoon? Like, there's no way. You saw a possum? Yeah. I saw the biggest raccoon during I ever seen pull it up through really? school the other day. Yeah. St standing on top of one of the trash cans. Looked like I offended him. <laughs> Like I got there like, I think 4.55, something like that. And he looked up like, no, you weren't supposed to be here for another 30. Like, like I offended him, but didn't want to leave. I had to yell and scream. Finally, he ran off. So I told, uh, I told one of our chefs about it. And he said that they come down all the time from the hill. They come yeah, down, yeah. Get all like, the food. That's yeah, the yeah, they don't know where the food is going to be. That's great. Unbelievable. Right. So then we get to an extra. We set the team up in Vegas to put a very different set of maps. Can you show me on the field? Some dope stuff. I like it, but I don't think it's just me. Into the credit card. Download the app today. Mm -hmm. I like I'm back even though I never left. You debated. Underrated, but the best. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm.
Yeah. You know, on the plane, there's nothing but time and opportunity. Okay. I do like the burst at the end. Sorry, PBJ. You're back in the booth? Yep. Back like you never left, to be exact. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. That's the first burst. The back even though I never left. It's debated, underrated, but the best. Yes. Single dropper soon, ladies and gentlemen. Single dropper soon. You know what? Let me get you I get you lit. Did want him to narrate one of his albums. For real? But uh, we were leaving Jackson. That's crazy. Back then, he thought he never really appreciated underrated, but the best, yes. They always got prime in the press. Gabe been good to me every day. I'm blessed, so I don't stress. Hmm. Feel like y'all got love for me. That peach is only God can judge me. Hmm. I kept my head up even when times was ugly. Trying to do king behind the scenes and in public. Sarah arrived the rain, the pain. You don't know my struggle. Yeah, it's me, baby. Uh, they feel the pressure and I don't even try. God chose me, so you just better realize hmm. the weight of my people lay heavy on my shoulders. Gave a sip the blueprint and took the family to Boulder. Hmm. Talk that talk. I love it. I love to see it. Sam, you gotta hop on the song too, bro. I'll hop on. Okay. Oh, oh. All right. Uh, Sam, can we, these are the two sponsors. Yeah. Can we just take it here quickly? Okay. 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 And after a short video, please join me in giving a warm welcome to our keynote speaker, Coach Dion Sanders. He's taking us to another stratosphere, but you know the character and the smart tough as this, but you think I would have him here if he's not who he's supposed to be? I don't believe, and I already told my sons, when I'm gone, I'm going to try to time it for the last credit card is swiped. <laughs> Ain't gonna be no real, ain't gonna be no reading or nothing. We're gonna enjoy ourselves while we're here, son. So ain't gonna be no fight about nothing, all right? But he being serious too. Working my butt off for a fool to do some foolish, ain't no way in the world. Let's stop that, okay, parents? Working our butts off to get some food. Oh no, ain't no way in the world. And I know my kids like a book. I know which one's gonna put me in the nursing home, which one's gonna be there for me, which one's gonna love me to the end. I know I'm like a book. That's why I rank them. I rank them every month. <laughs> When we get our butts kicked, our rankings fall. When you're not doing right, your rankings fall. All right? My, as of right now, both of my daughters are ranked last. Just in this <laughs> but he wouldn't be who he is if he didn't hear my voice. If he didn't witness the things that I've done. See, we're not in a generation now that, like our parents said, because I said so. How many parents used to say, because I said so? Uh-uh, that, that, that don't work no more. I know you can say it, but they want to see you do it now. Yeah. So we're leading a group of people who you have to be who you claim to be. We got to stop trick-or-treating. It ain't even October. A lot of us are with costumes and mascara pretending to be something that we're not. Let's stop trick-or-treating because these young men, your sons, your daughter, your family members, they're watching every darn thing you do and you lose your validation, your credibility when you're not who you say you are. Beautiful. Beautiful. Give up. Like what to do on social media. I mean, it's not a complex <laughs> stuff. And, and this young man and his father and his team, they've mastered this whole thing. Talk to us about the importance, the impact of social media on your personal brand, on your recruiting, on your coaching, just the impact overall. Uh, it, it, it's unbelievable, it's undeniable. Like, uh, I have a rule, even at our training table, that we eat three times a day in Boulder. Put the darn phones in the middle of the table when you sit down with your teammates, because there's no more conversation. What are the other you sit at the table with someone 10 years younger and you really had a conversation? You didn't have a conversation, you was looking at the top of their darn foreheads and they were sitting there right there doing that. Right. That tells me that social media has a tremendous presence. 
And if you want to play ball with this younger generation, you're going to have to play ball with social media. So we learn the intricate details. He understands the algorithms. He understands when it's good for you to post daddy, which he's doing most of the 90% of the posting, when it's good for him to post things with his brothers. And for the team, he understands that. I may not understand that realm, but he understands it in its totality and I have to embrace it if I want to go to the next level and be able to recruit these young men. Because they're not just, just sitting up there just watching television like they used to do. They're on social media, that's their news. That's their Walter Cronkites, you know? That's their uh, Sanford and Sons. That's their Jeffersons. And then we grew up on all those wonderful sitcoms that told us a story. Now social media are telling the stories. And we gotta be innovative as well as creative to go meet them where they are. Our recruiting is done mainly on social media. People think we're crazy. When I sit up there and say, hey, I ain't hard to find. Seems like a crazy statement to you. But that generation understands to, in its totality what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. That means if you got talent and you're not recruited properly, get at me. And they understand that totally. And we go get them that way. But you have to make the adjustment. I understand to be bold and bold and you old school and no old fools, but you're going to have to adapt and <sighs> introduce yourself to change. Because change is inevitable. And we all must go through some type of change. Either you're going to change or life is going to change you. It's going to be one or the other. Wow. Who feels like they're in church right now? This is one of the Unbelievable. So, book promo, book tour. I mean, book is out there. Yeah, book is out there. And you guys need to help us make it a bestseller. And I know that you are. Because first of all, it's a good book. Let's get this straight. Elevated Dominate, 21 ways to win, on and off the field. We had an unbelievable day, unbelievable day today in Anaheim. It was awesome. It was awesome. Speaking engagement was awesome. Now, we're on our way to New York. Who you think is going to snort a loudest on the plane? Oh, yes, girl. He got us in a bed seat. <laughs>